Our canning line is uh, from Cast Brewing up in uh, Calgary, and they were one of the first companies to actually have uh, small scale um, canning lines and started out Oscar Blues, all that had the cask line and they've been great in getting a ton of little breweries into this and started the, the canning revolution. So much so that um, they're getting a lot of competitors now, a lot of other people coming out with canning lines. Um, this canning line is rated for about 24 cans a minute uh, in the 16 ounce cans uh, just because I can't leave well enough alone. We've done a few modifications here and there. Um, today, as you saw earlier, we're pumping about 31 cans a minute through it. So when we do a 60 barrel batch, you know, that saves us about three hours on our day. So these little things that we like to play with, um, although it's a big, huge, expensive, fancy looking thing, it's really kind of Rube Goldberg and you just kind of play with it and try and make it work and adjust it as you can to see how fast you can get it to go. One of the reasons that we like cans so much is because they keep the air out. Um, these little canning lines, even though they're you know, the, the little guys on the block, uh, do exceptionally well with dissolved oxygen in the beer. Um, a really fancy Italian bottling line gets you down to maybe 70 parts per billion of oxygen in a bottle, and then you have the bottle cap on it, which might not keep all the oxygen out. Our canning line here, we, we got to borrow an O2 meter last week, and uh, our cans are coming out uh, fairly consistently under 30 parts per billion. So what that means for us is that our beer is going to have a longer shelf life. So when we do meet demand here in Washington, maybe we can start to ship it out to other places. But that hasn't happened yet.